Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 132. That is, what are the key challenges that you have faced while testing a software application? Let me answer. So there are different challenges that the software testing team will face while testing a software. I'll give you the list of the items that general in real world, right? While the real software testers are testing the uh, real time applications during their projects, they may come across these challenges. Okay, if you can uh, mention few of these uh, challenges, okay, if you are getting this particular question in the interview, if you can mention the few of the items from this list, whatever I'm giving in this session, then that will be more than enough. Okay, so let me give the list of key challenges uh, that a software testing team may face while testing a software. Okay, so here are the list. First challenge is about the environments, guys. Okay, so test environments, challenges regarding the Test environment. So what will happen with the test environments is you see setting up this test environments is a big challenge for the testing team. Okay, one of the challenges the software testing team. You see, we have to test the application. Where we have to test the application? We have to test the application on a supported test environment. You see, there is an application like a, a web application, like for example, you have to test Amazon.com. Okay, you have to test that website. That Amazon.com supports Chrome browser, Firefox browser. IE browser, it supports different operating systems, different devices, and so on, right? Lot of environments are required for testing that. That's okay. But the problem is setting up that environments is a big deal, okay? Uh, because every environment has a different browser, different operating system, different versions and all. So setting up such kind of test environments for testing purpose is a big challenge for the testing team, okay? So that's the major challenge, okay? Whenever uh, it will take a lot of time guys uh, because I have worked in real time and uh, I faced this problem while uh, you see while performing testing I'm, I'm ready to test but the problem is environment is not easily available it's wasting a lot of time whatever the time I have right uh, I can easily complete my testing work but the problem is half of the day is going for setting up the environment and that too sometimes uh, to get an environment I have to wait till the end of the day and uh, still some problems are there okay environment mismatch will happen where you know right uh, the required environment where you have to perform testing or there may be some configurations that you have to uh, you have to follow some step by step configurations to actually prepare the environment if you do a single mistake while preparing that environment right you are gone okay your environment is not ready so setting up test environments is a big challenge okay uh, we anyone can test but the problem is uh, getting the test environment ready for testing the application proper test environment ready for testing the application is a big challenge okay so this is one of the challenge that software testers face. Not only that guys, you see, single application has to be uh, tested across multiple environments, okay? You see, amazon.com has to be tested on Chrome browser, Firefox browser, IE browser, Edge browser, Opera browser, Safari browser, and any other browsers, okay? So whatever the browsers that are popular, non-popular in the market, amazon.com should work their proper way, okay? If not, there is a defect in that, right? So, but testing in, so many number of environments is not a simple thing, right? A lot of planning is required, a lot of things are required, a lot of resources are required. You see, uh, single environment only will take off, uh, take a lot of time for the software testers to complete their testing work. But if you talk about multiple environments, it's only possible by scaling up the resources, okay? We need more resources to test the software in different test environments, which is a challenging thing, okay? Not always uh, the client will give you the enough uh, number of resources to test, right? So a kind of challenges you may face where you know right uh, you have limited time and uh, and you have a uh, big list of environments and uh, resources are limited and how do you plan that that is a challenge okay that's a kind of challenge you may come across fine next one is as i already mentioned less time for testing okay in case of test environments also if you have multiple test environments and if you have limited time can you complete the testing no right that's one of the challenge so similarly uh, there are many reasons okay there's only one reason for the less time for testing environments is only the one reason for less time for testing there are many other reasons for less time that is sometimes what happens is the application build okay the testers have to test an application build given by the developers right without the developers giving us an application build for testing we cannot proceed further but what if okay uh, the let's say there is 10 working days in the 10 working days the developers themselves have taken seven to eight days and uh, the last one or two days they are giving the application build for testing is it possible for the software tester to complete the testing complete testing in time no right that's another challenge that i have also faced like uh, developers will give the build late and they expect us to complete the testing okay 
so because of in because some projects follow the process some projects don't follow the process okay things will go like that in the project so that kind of challenges we may face in real time where developers will give the build late and uh, and uh, the testing team is pressurized to, to complete the testing on time okay so you have to work overtime and all and they, the process problem with the process and all okay that kind of challenges software testers may face in real time and as i already mentioned testing in all test environments need multiple resources right because why multiple resources are required time is limited right to complete the testing in time in that specified time more resources are required so that they can share their test environments and parallelly work but what happens in real time there may be some project teams uh, where you need you know there is no proper process and uh, resources are pressurized uh, by uh, they are expected to complete testing in multiple environments in less time okay so ultimately the resources will get pressurized right less time for testing then tight deadlines and work overload same thing as tight deadline okay you have to complete in the uh, the build is given in late or uh, environments are more and less resources are there what happens tight deadlines you have to complete by today you have to complete by tomorrow and you have to work overtime and you have to overload yourself okay so that's a problem this kind of challenges uh, software testers or uh, face guys okay in most of the projects so regression testing is not always possible to finish in time why regression testing is not always possible before you complete the testing guys they will give you another build okay you see you you tested one uh, you are testing one build and uh, for that you reported some defects immediately before you completed the entire testing of you have, before you perform regression testing that is by executing all the test cases of that particular application from start to end right before that process completes developers will come uh, the next day and say that okay yeah, another version is ready just switch to another version what happens in that case again you have to start from the beginning right first test case you have to start and regression testing will go on and before that come uh, completes again another uh, again the developers will give you another version so this process repeats so is it possible for uh, completing the regression testing in time when the developers are keeping on giving new build for you for testing and all that is not possible so what uh, what is the solution then the solution is if the project is a long term project okay if in case the project is a long term project we can go for a one solution that is automation okay automation can be one solution where you know right uh, uh, if that is a long term project and uh, then parallelly while we are testing we'll automate some scenarios um, the regression testing scenarios will be automated and we'll focus on the important works okay what need to be tested we have to test what are the stories we have to perform testing that stories we'll focus on testing but uh, we cannot test the entire regression suit right so automation will uh, cover us in terms of uh, day to day to, uh, same to same testing that we generally do as part of regression testing that will be taken care by automation while you focus on the important things or new requirements uh, new functionalities that are added or new changes happen to the application that functionalities you can test that is one solution and other solution is if less time is there and uh, more test cases are there we generally follow a risk based approach okay still the challenge is there because you will not be able to uh, test the entire regression suit right for every build you cannot test it that's a problem only the way is to solve it by automation or you have to uh, and also in, along with that you have to follow risk based testing where uh, high priority test cases you have to test first and then low priority test cases okay fine then uh, then we have other thing guys okay less time for testing is a major challenge test environments is a challenge setting up and testing across multiple test environments is a challenge and less time for testing due to several reasons the testing team will not get time for testing that okay testing the entire application or uh, giving confidence in uh, that uh, they have tested the application properly these are the challenges okay these high level things these are the reasons and these are the high level things that you can state in the interviews like uh, challenges faced with test environment challenges with less amount of time given for testing team how do we resolve and all we have to explain and another main challenge that software testing team may face is lack lack of communication from the client side you see you will be testing but on what basis you will be testing whatever the requirements the client is specifying or giving right based on that you are testing but what happened is you have some doubts about the requirements or the requirements are not clear the client team has not uh, communicated the things well without giving the demo or something they are asking you to test you are in trouble right lack of communication is a problem guys requirements are not shared to you okay they are expecting you to decide something by yourself and perform testing that is a bad thing ambiguities in requirements okay confusions lot of doubts are there and on the top of that there is no proper point of contact for clearing the doubts no one is clearing your doubts what happens then in this case of lack of communication what happens is testing team including the development team okay will 
uh, assume few things, okay? Because the client is not communicating well, so you have to assume something and uh, think that this is right, okay? This is right or this is wrong. You will think by yourself and perform testing. That may not be correct always. Whatever the decisions you have taken may not be correct. Lack of communication is a uh, another challenge that software testing team will face because it the project all become uh, depends on client to client. If the client is not responding to you properly or not clearing your doubts or is slow in responding, right? Or not uh, giving a proper requirements for testing or something, then in that case, that is a challenge for testing team because they can, they uh, they may even testing team will assume something and make mistakes. Okay, that will result in a wrong product getting developed and tested. Okay, testing will happen in a wrong way in that case because of lack of communication. That is an, that is another challenge the software testing team will face while testing a software. Okay, application lack of domain knowledge. Okay. So not always the testing team will have the uh, enough knowledge for testing the application or understanding the application, right? For example, uh, you are testing an e-commerce uh, e application so far, but suddenly the next in the next project you got you got a banking application, banking domain application. But you are new to banking domain. Okay, you don't know the much terminologies of banking, and uh, you are not able to understand the functionality of the banking software application. So what happens? That will become a challenge, okay? In testing, testers will not be able to test the application because they don't have a proper domain knowledge of the application, okay? So lack of domain knowledge also, okay? So sometimes the training is required, or we have to do our own R and D and do that to overcome that problem. But a lack of domain knowledge is always a challenge for software testers while performing the testing. Then lack of skills, okay? Not only domain knowledge, but lack of skills. So if you are asked to uh, perform different types of testing, okay? Let's say you are only into UI testing. Suddenly the Client side, they are asking you to perform API testing. You are new to API testing. Okay, lack of skills will be a challenge for because uh, without having the knowledge of API testing or prior knowledge of uh, doing the API testing, you are directly doing the API testing or performance or security testing or whatever the different type of testing asked by the client. Suddenly, it will be a bit challenging for the testing team for sure. Okay, either they have to be trained or you know right, it will take time for to get adjusted. Then automation tools, there are several automation tools available in the market. And let's say you are not skillful in that automation area. And if you are asked to perform automation testing, it will not be possible, right? You cannot write automation scripts directly. You have to learn it. You have to, okay, you should have some experience and all to do that. So lack of skills is always a challenge for the, because every project, right, you will get a different requirement most of the times, right? And one time you will get one domain in one one project, you will give, you, you have to work on different tool, different programming language, okay? so. Skills matter here. Lack, lack of skills and lack of domain knowledge, lack of communication is always a challenge for the software testers. Okay. Then another last one, guys. Last one I'm going to explain is uh, though there is a very big list I can create out of this. Okay. Whatever the important one, what are the whatever the key challenges were that I really face. Because whenever you get an interview question, right, you should not answer in a theoretical way. So whatever the answers I prepared here are my own. Okay. I feel like. I felt like this will be the these answers will be better for you to answer in the interviews, okay? Because this uh, I have really faced it, okay? I have really faced these challenges. That's why I prepared this, okay? Your version may be different, but uh, there may be a lot of uh, challenges that software testers may face apart from this that I mentioned here. So, but I am not providing the complete list here. So, whatever the challenges I feel are critical by myself, I am giving the answer. So, assuming that uh, you are also on the same track. So complete testing is not possible, guys. Okay. So sometimes what happens is 100% uh, testing is expected by the managers, okay, or the clients. Clients, are you sure that you have tested the application completely? Okay. The manager will push you to test the application. Is it possible really to do the complete testing or exhaustive testing is possible? Not at all. Our job as software testers is only to identify the defects. Okay, eliminate, identify the defects and get them eliminated from the application by getting this particular defects fixed by the developers. We'll try our level best. Okay, we'll try our level best in finding most of the defects and getting them eliminated. But no one can 100% say that the, uh, the application is 100% defect free or 100% tested. No one can say, even though your manager pushes you, okay, or your client pushes you, you cannot do that actually. So the challenge here for the software testers is. To educate this, uh, okay, to educate the managers or the client uh, saying that 100% testing is not possible, okay. So they may feel that, okay, you are arguing with them, right? Uh, the moment you say, they ask you, 100% testing should be completed, okay. So you have to test it completely. I should not see any defect. If they say, it will be a bit challenged different, because different clients will behave different differently with the teams and all, and it's, it's not every client will understand you. Okay, they have their own version, their own uh, 
uh, way of dealing the stuff so it may not be possible always okay our but our side this is a challenge right uh, th there is a challenge that uh, we cannot communicate properly to the client saying that uh, or the managers uh, saying that complete testing is not possible to them okay that is a big challenge for any every, every software tester face this challenge okay but to ourselves at least we have to understand that uh, uh, 100% testing is not possible and identifying each and every defect in the software is not at all possible okay we'll try our level best in uh, reducing the risk of uh, software after it gets released into the market by identifying more uh, most of the defects that can be identified the testing team before the releasing the software into the market okay that we can assure but we cannot 100% say that you cannot find a single bug after this release like that you cannot say anyone cannot say and we cannot educate the managers or uh, clients because they are at a higher level than the testing team at that point of time so that is one another challenge we can say okay so hope guys you got a different uh, list of uh, okay key challenges uh, that a testing team may encounter while testing a software so with this note uh, hope you got the answer for this question and uh, you now know how to answer that if you get this particular question in the interviews so that's all for this session the next session i'm going to answer another software testing entry question for you till then see you bye bye